find peace by calling on Allah. Despite their best endeavors, the great majority of people are unable to find true happiness. They therefore try all possible means that come to mind in the life of this world. They constantly adopt new aims, and they believe that they will achieve happiness when they reach those ideals. These may sometimes be looking for a close friend, or material expectations, or spiritual desires. Yet even if these wishes and desires become a reality in the manner they hope for, the result is still not what they expected. They are still unable to taste true happiness. They generally try not to allow this internal dissatisfaction to show on the outside. Yet, no matter how much they give the impression of being happy, they still suffer internally. In addition to unhappy lives, yet there is another danger that awaits for people who spend their lives in spiritual sufferings such as regret, anxiety and stress. Poor health. This state of mind not only inflicts psychological damage, but also manifests itself through various physical effects. The only path by which people can attain peace and happiness is by turning to Allah under all circumstances and realizing that everything takes place by the will of Allah and under his control. The major truth has recently been the subject of several scientific studies. For example, a team led by David B. Larson of the American National Center for Health Research performed a comparison of believers and non-believers in USA and produced the most astonishing results. The research showed that the devout believers had a 60% lower incident of heart disease compared with non-believers or people whose faith was weak. Suicide levels were 100% lower among believers and that they were less likely to suffer from blood pressure problems. Another piece of research published by the widely revered medical journal International Psychiatry and Medicine reported that people who described themselves as atheists suffered more from disease and also had shorter lifespans. According to the findings of the research, atheists were twice as likely to suffer from gastric or intestinal diseases as opposed to believers. It also shows that atheists had a 66% higher level of death from respiratory diseases. Medical experts described such results as a psychological effect. The meaning of this is that faith raises the spirits, and this in turn contributes to good health. Comprehensive research into the correlation between religious belief and physical health carried out by Dr. Herbert Benson of the Harvard University Medical Faculty produced striking results in this area. Although not a believer himself, Benson concluded that faith in Allah and religious observances has beneficial effects on human health than that observed in anything else. Benson states that he has concluded that no belief provides as much mental peace as belief in Allah.
Dr. Benson investigated why there was such a correlation between faith and human mental and physical health. And he reached the conclusion that human mind and body, as he put it, are wired to belief in Allah. This truth which the medical world has begun recognizing is imparted in the Quran as I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Those who believe and whose hearts find peace in the remembrance of Allah. Only in the remembrance of Allah can the heart find peace. The reason why people who have faith in Allah who pray to and trust in Him are mentally and physically healthier than other people is that they are behaving in a manner compatible with their creation. Philosophies and systems that contravene human creation always bring with them suffering, distress, anxiety, and depression. A peaceful and calm state of mind is only possible to fully living by Quranic moral values. For this, one must never forget that all events and all phenomena take place by the will of Allah and under His control. This is a very important truth. Someone who knows and fully understands this will realize that no matter what may befall him, no matter how tragic it may appear, it is still auspicious for him and he will still welcome it. It is out of the question for people who possess this knowledge and fully comprehend it to be unhappy, to be emotional, to weep, to imagine that they have suffered an injustice, to take offense, to sulk, to protest in the face of events, or to be enraged, or to fall into despair. Instead, the state of mind of a believer is such that he accepts every moment of his life. He is able to perceive the beauties created at every moment and give thanks to Allah for the comfort bestowed by living a life that is under the control of Him. Whether or not he perceives the wisdom behind it, he accepts everything that comes from Allah. Such a person never allows anything in this world to cause him to despair, to make him uneasy, or to feel disquiet or fear. In one verse, Allah describes the solution to despair, fear, and disquiet in these terms in the Qur'an. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. The angels descend on those who say, Our Lord is Allah, and then go straight. Do not fear and do not grieve, but rejoice in the garden you have been promised. Human beings, therefore, have a responsibility to adhere to this path revealed by Allah. Allah will bestow happiness, which is the greatest joy, and He will bestow infinite mercy on those who exhibit such virtue, both in this world and in the hereafter. He will remove everything that might cause anxiety, disquiet of suffering from their hearts, and He will replace these feelings with the feeling of peace and security imparted in true faith.